gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Hoiny Crown. Beatles has been busy. <laughs> <laughs> I did some building off camera. The whole mountain's done. Are you kidding me? I finished the whole mountain. The whole outside of the castle we finished last time. And we finished the outside of the mountain. And on top of that, we landscaped it. Now, there's still some landscaping I have to do over here. Bring, there's this cool thing that happens when you do the grass and bone meal it. You kind of see the grass coming down. Look at it over here. You'll see it really nice. Look at this view. Oh, yes. Oh, I think it looks so good. I'm very, very pleased and happy with it. It looks very realistic. So I've got, I've got some more things that I have to do. This is going to be like a waterfall that comes down here. And it doesn't make a whole lot of sense because there's also... It waterfalls over to here. And it waterfalls over to here as well. But the whole thing is enclosed and done. Do you want to see what it looks like on the inside? The scale of this thing is so huge. I can't believe... How big this is. It is the most massive, gaping, open, huge crevasse I've ever seen in my life. Some of you said that this would be a really cool thing to do, like a dwarven uh, mine fortress thing underneath. Maybe. <laughs> but that's kind of a big project. Let's see if we can make it in here. Now, this is the part we did last episode. Ouch! Last episode. We did in here, and then we talked about doing the throne room, and would like to do that as well. This is looking very nice, though. I love how this looks. And then the, oh, man, the whole view. Whoop, that rocket went off delayed. The whole view and everything with these. Oh, a scar head. Oh, okay. That's nice. With all these trees around. Oh, man, it's a real pleasure of also. When you're walking along this path, which I'm going to work out the path and all that stuff, eventually, oh, it just feels nice. You just see little peaks of the castle every once in a while. It just feels amazing. Trees add so much when you add them in. And these are all custom trees, all custom beauties. But today, oh, we're, we're really winded down to the end on these mini game things with the turf war back and forth. And everybody's getting their mini games done. I'm competing in a mini game today. And also, Scar needs help uh, with a mini game. He's working on something, and of course, it's going to be a beautiful, massive project. But he needs some help with some landscaping. And since, I mean, B Dubs has been kind of busy landscaping around the castle, I'm in that mode. So maybe we can kind of help him out. Going to head to the shopping district, but there's something I need to show you over there as well. So as you are well aware, remember last episode, we put up this thing where Etho has to make a super unique fast smelter for B-dubs, love B-dubs, and we said maybe it would change. More wagers have gone up, and it looks like B-dubs must become a Shady EE's employee. That's from Etho. And that's scary. I would have to be his employee. In his employee, he would make be able to make me do stuff if we lose the overall mini games. Um, what do you guys think? I mean, this is he. He said that because I said he has to do something. Do you guys think this is good, or do you have any ideas? Let me know in the comments below if there's something better that we could make Etho or somebody do. Uh, if we win, because Hep's gonna win, and I'm gonna win my mini game today for sure. We're playing Green's mini game against Impulse, and I'm a little nervous, <laughs> but I hope it. I hope it goes well. All the mini games are really coming along very nicely, but just over here, Scar is working on a game, and it's very, very cool. It's kind of a little bit of a. I'm not gonna spoil it. You should go to his channel to see the specifics. But we're going to do a little set building here. Oh, and he's already prepared some materials. It looks like. What a fine mare. He always is. Oh, perfect. Okay. Boom. Oh, look at all the leaves. Yes. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. And logs as well. What a guy. 
Oh, he's so sweet. Okay. This is fantastic. So this is, obviously, you see grass, which is the hep side. That's our side, my team. And there's the mycelium side over there with all the mushrooms and whatnot. I think Scar is going to work on that side. And for the sake of getting it all done, because the games are sure coming up fast, he wanted me to help decorate this side. And I'm happy to do it. Everybody, ladies and gentlemen, let's get decorating. Finito completo baby is done. I think it looks fantastic. You know, for the short time, I mean, the mini games are coming up. We're already just after this. We're going to go over there and do a mini game. So they're really coming up. So we got to go pretty fast. I probably would have spent more time on this, but I think it still looks really, really cool. This is kind of, Scarred kind of showed me a little bit of a uh, uh, like placement of where he wanted things. And he wanted this big tree right here. Uh, but I thought, hey, why not do like a spinny, you know, twist tree or something like that with a little guy coming off the side on the bottom. And then, you know, just some other trees. We really want it to feel lush. That's the whole motto for HEP. And then I think here is going to be, well, we'll let Scar explain it. There he is. There's Squeak Scar. Wait, did he, <laughs> he spawned up in the sky. Did I remove a, a, a pillar that he was on? Oh, I hope he likes it. You're going to have to tune into his video to see if he uh, likes it and see what his reaction is. But I knocked this out. He hates it. Apparently, he hates it. If he's shooting at me, he doesn't like it so well. Oh, boy. No, please don't. Please. Hot potato. I'm sorry. I'll do a better job next time, sweet mare. But now, we have to go over to Face Impulse in the green fly mini game. Let's get out of this flame house and let's do it. Okay, he liked it, but he wanted me to remove all the flowers. And, and usually I do. I usually remove all the flowers. So I, I, gotta, I can't go to the game just yet. I gotta, I gotta get all these flowers out of here. I usually remove them, but I thought, you know, hep, hep maybe is a good, we like flowers. But no, no, flowers out. Okay, now it's fixed soon. Oh, it's gonna take a little while. Welcome contestants to Green Skydive. I should have come up with a better name. Rings of Death. Is a uh, more that's good. Name. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, that's scary though. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Yeah. I have been placing these rings all day, and I hope this goes well because I, I I can't move them. It's too late for that. There's mm. so many of them. Yeah. How many so, do you reckon there is? A hundred. And there must be a hundred. Oh my goodness. A hundred. Well, that's got to be I'm in the go name. All of them. One hundred rings of death. Hundred that's rings of death. Yeah. <laughs> So if you if I could draw your attention to this pillar here, this shows you the points. So you're both going to be jumping out of the plane up there and trying to fly through as many hoops as possible, making your way down to the water below. And what you pass through dictates how many points you get. Mm -hmm. So red is five points, orange is two, and yellow, which is the biggest one, is one point. And it is a race. You are both jumping out the plane at the same time. The first one to get to the bottom gets 12 whole points, which is a lot. Ooh. It's a, it's a, mm. it's a big deal to get to the bottom first. Okay. But you must go through at least two hoops to qualify for that 12. Oh, oh no. Okay. Can't go okay. straight to the water. No, no cheating, no exploiting. <laughs> well, that's what so I wanted idea... to do. <laughs> I made oh, it. This doesn't bode well, does it? I'm going to come in the other door. I'm going <laughs> okay. in the back, back door. door. It's it, fine. It, it, yeah. it, it, We're not picky here. Good job. Got it. Nice. <laughs> right. Couple of shulker boxes here with elytra and rockets. If you want to put all of your stuff in here, because mm. it it goes kasplat and goes everywhere. Oh, I've got a flight plan, a flight path that I'm gonna take. I you already oh, figured it out. You're calculating. Yes, I am. Hey, I could, uh -oh. I could knock you hey, off hey, right now. <laughs> don't. Uh, uh, that's why I'm shifting. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Green, tell us when. Three, okay. two, one. Jump! Oh, there's a little Woo! pause there I, that you did. I didn't like uh, the pause action. Uh, um, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I no, made it! He's faster than I me. made it! Oh, I was 
I first. I think you beat me, but I, I did go through a couple rings. You did get a couple rings. I got a couple as well. I got three, I think. Oh, but no. Not big boy rings. If you beat me down here, then well, you probably wait. won that one. Yep. Oh, no. Oh. <sighs> Good run. Good okay. run. You too. All right. I'm still Round warming up two. though. Me Get too. Back up the top. I did go through a couple orange ones at least. That should oh, help, right? Oh. Okay. Yes, did you do just yellow? Beatles? I don't know. Everything <laughs> was a blur. Yeah, it sure was. I would like to propose, Game Master, I would like to propose a, an additional wager if possible. Be between you and Myself Impulse? and Impulse. What? Okay. Just after Impulse you win round one? Impulse and I are co-owners of uh, Lamps Plus in town uh -oh. there. Uh -oh. Winner gets all the profits for one month. Okay. Wow. He said one it. You heard it. Month. Okay. Even though you got a lead on me round <laughs> one, I got confidence yeah, in myself. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, it can all go Plus wrong. I, I haven't been giving you your half for a while anyway. Oh! <laughs> Okay, that's it. You guys have got a, a, a separate feud going on. Like, I'm, Apparently. I'm spy dive. Okay, okay. <laughs> no, All right, okay. round two, everyone. Mm -hmm. yep. Are we ready? I'm yep. ready. We are going to launch in three, two, one. Jump! Oh, man. Woo! Uh, 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 Beat up, uh, uh. activate his elytra! He's just no. falling! Oh, oh uh, impulse beat impulse me down. Made it to the he bottom I, first. I, he yes. beat me down. Yes, you beat me down. I, I think beat I got up, a couple beat. rings, too. B-dubs didn't even fly. He just fell. That's right. That was uh, that was my fl f fall technique. <laughs> Falling with style. Yes. I did hit okay. two or two or three rings. This is this is probably gonna make or break it because I think it's gonna come down to this. Woo! Last jump. Okay. Oh, man. No, I'm what a game, again. Green. This is wild. This is fun. I want to okay. just do this all day. Okay. That'll be a high score. I'll probably add in a high high scoreboard after this. All right, oh, are we ready? I'd love yeah. to be a, okay, round okay. three. Round mm -hmm. three. We're going to launch in three, two, one, jump! Woo! Oh no! Beat ups again. Oh no! Oh no! You just gotta make it to the bottom, beat ups. Oh, I no. did it! Oh, I survived. I didn't make it through that ring. Oh, I think I just lost all my profits to Lamps oh, Plus. Man. I'm the Fly King. Oh man, I'm coming down there with no elytra. Green, you're this. commentating. Uh, you're saying, oh, "Oh no, you're supposed to say you that should be unbiased." I think he was rooting for me. He sounds uh, like he was rooting. I think <laughs> Hep just got a win. That's not good. That's a great <laughs> thing. That's oh, that's true. There's a reason why he's rooting for me. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, yeah that is true. Okay, <laughs> don't have to be unbiased. I may elytra, have though? lost the elytra somewhere. I'll find it. Oh, oh, he hit like the very first ring out of the plane. It was ridiculous. Oh, it I'm was sorry. that side bet got me nervous. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of head games, a little bit of trash talk. Oh, Never man. hurt anybody. Okay, good, right. Good I job, think we still we still better do the scores properly. Mm -hmm. Yes. Just in case. Just in case. And we'll take an average of the three. Although I have a feeling I know who won. <laughs> so you're gonna have to give me give me ten minutes. I'm gonna tot up the scores and we'll meet back. At the at the scoreboard. Oh uh, come on! Okay. Really? Oh jeez! <laughs> really? You prepared that? Rub, rub it in, why don't you? I'm I leaving. knew I was gonna win. <laughs> Pretty, you're wearing victory glasses. We already know who won because Impulse <sighs> failed the resistance quite. I'm so sorry. I hit the second ring out of the plane. I stink at stuff. The final scores are in after re reviewing the replay mod. And you know what? Even if I'm a couple of points off. It was actually quite difficult to review. Yes. The winner is Hep. Hep have taken the first win <sighs> of the Turf War. Battle. I'm sorry. I let Yay! us down. So smug. Look at his face. <laughs> to, to be fair, though, in watching the replay, we did notice you barely got through that second hoop on the last run. You just can't help yourself. yourself barely. You? I followed the rules. I played the system. <laughs> You were this close to being disqualified, uh, Mister. And I and I won by that much. You won by that much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, well, well GG. Done. Well GG. done. If you come over to my extremely extravagant winner loser scoreboard over here, I'll let you do Ooh. the honors, speed ups. You can put a oh. put a lever on the back side of that and uh, on the hep side. There you go. Go on. Light okay. one up. Here we go. Three, two, one, bang. 
You missed it. <laughs> you oh, missed okay, okay, okay. You hold you right need right over hold on, hold on, hold on. If you want me, okay, okay, okay. Green, I think this is a little archaic. <laughs> <laughs> this might be a little archaic green. We might want to spruce this up with some redstone. Yeah, I mean, I had like two seconds to put this together. I think it's a, uh, it's good enough. Yeah, all right. Fantastic. Yeah. First point officially goes to Hep. We've got catching up to do. I still have faith in us. I've been looking at the other games, looking at who signed up for them. I still feel pretty good, even with my loss today, that my ceiling resistance is going to take this one home. I hope so. There's only nine mini games that I put ten there, but there is only nine mini games. So, Whew. look how smug he is. <laughs> Those glasses. I can't even Those look glasses. at him. It's like he knew he was going to win. Oh, we're going to win the whole thing. I have dominated the airplane drop game. I can't believe it, guys. I don't win stuff. We've got a victory for Hep. We got a victory for Hep. Yeah, yeah, hi, yeah. Oh, it's so exciting. Oh, I loved that game. That was very fun. So we got one on the board for the boys. That's awesome. I'm so happy to see that, that I'm so perfect at video games. That's the first thing I've ever won in my entire life. Uh, but um, now, boy, we never go in this place this dark place together this is how i get to my base it's not very ouch it's not very smooth i really got to get this worked out someday but last episode i made a promise to you a throne room promise it's a secret though i'm gonna do a promise that i promised you but before we do gotta creep mm -hmm. wonderful morning oh guys this place is really coming along we're doing some stuff out at the beat upsville. Oh, it's really coming along. All these trees, all this majesty. Look at this view, huh? Oh, it's looking gorgy all the way through. I'm so happy with it. But remember, we did the interior. Let's hope that nothing falls on us and slams our face off in here. Today now, throne room. And I'm just gonna take this in little bits, probably. First, we'll get the floor done, and we have to be very careful because there are little surprise drop uh, guys that drop on you and explode. But I'll get the floor done, and then there's some things with the. This is going to be the main throne area. I want to talk to you about a little bit, a little bit about a little bit about about be do bop be dee be bop bop bye. Oh, now we're starting to get a feel, aren't we? Yes. Yeah. So. This main thing down the middle, this big, it's a little abstract, isn't it? It looks a little funny, but you're trying to emulate like a big red carpet with like some gold design in the sides. You see, you know kind of what I'm going for. And it kind of works. It gives the visual look of that. And then I put up a little bit of the walls so you can get a little bit of the idea of how it feels. The walls are kind of plain and they'll probably be stone. Hello, you up there. Perfect first shot. Perfect second shot. Wonderful job. Aha, you just spawned. Per I missed. We are going to have some pillars going up very high right here in all six locations right here. But of course, right here, this is where our throne's going to be. Now, what we're going to do with the throne, we're going to have a black back. Yikes. Be careful going up there. We're going to have a black backdrop going all the way up. The window is pretty much going to be covered up by my throne. The throne is going to be white. The reason why, black and white, one of the best ways to draw the eye and show people this is an important place to be looking at is contrast. And you can't get any more contrast than black backdrop and white throne. So that's what we're going to do here. Then there's going to be the window behind, kind of shining light on the throne and stuff. It's going to be awesome. But let me show you real quick. Let's do uh, a little bit of what these pillars are going to look like. So we're going to go like this. Then we're going to hit it with a little glowstone right up here. And then from here on up to the top, to the very tippy top, is going to be all crimson logs. Now, that's not it. That's not all. We're going to strip all of this. And then those lights will be kind of hidden, actually. Okay, perfect. They'll be kind of hidden behind this. So we'll go like this. And this will be kind of like 
the decoration, a little bit of decoration down at the bottom of these pillars. So it'll look something like this. Oh, I think that's going to be pretty sick. And then, yes, red all the way to the top. Um, your tree killed me, B-dubs. Oh, Scar. Oh, no. <laughs> he flew into the tree. Oh, so much trouble for poor sweet Scar. But let's start building our way up a little bit, and hopefully we don't run into too much trouble from these guys. I deserve this throne. The diorite throne. Tis mine. Tis mine is the nerdiest thing I've ever said. I don't want to say that ever again. Make sure I never say that ever again. Are we safe? Anything going to drop on me? No. But here's the feel. Here's the look. We're, of course, going to do some interesting things to the ceiling. That has to be done. But for right now, we got the first level worked out. This is going to be kind of a to-be-continued situation. Because, of course, it's a huge crashle. It's very big. And uh, I've got a lot to do for the second floor up there, which connects to a little balcony in this room. I don't know if I ever showed that before. But up here is a little balcony. So we can get a closer peek at that next episode. But here's the feel, though. Without looking straight up, that's kind of the feel. Now, we were kind of doing like... This is kind of like a cool pillar design, I think. The beeswax blocks. I think that looks really, really cool. And uh, that'll kind of continue up in the next level as well. But, ooh, that golden crusted black background. I love that. And that throne? Come on, baby. And the benefit of this throne, guys, believe it or not, the sun sets right there. So I can just sit here all day doing nothing and watch the sun. And when it starts to get near the end, when it starts to set, boop, 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 I get to sleep. What a fine, wonderful thing. Look at this great place. And look at this flag over here. So throughout, I want to have some banners throughout the castle from time to time. Of course, regular banners, you know, uh, and hang those like here and here. But I want kind of my color scheme or whatever my current skin color scheme is, which is light blue and black at the moment, to kind of be the colors in here. If I ever change up, then maybe I change up the color scheme a little bit. But these columns, I love them. I love them. It just uses a lot of the new blocks that are in the game, which is really nice. But there's this red, you know, red marble. There's like a red marble kind of look. That's what I was going for. I think it looked really, really cool. Let's eat some food because that's driving me a little bit crazy. But, I mean, this whole feel is really coming along nice. And there's just a little thing, the little nuances, the little things that I like. When I'm walking by, I'm up on the castle, and I'm walking by, and instead of just seeing a big, dark, empty cavern, 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 I can see an interior in there, and that feels lively and fun. I love that. So we're getting there. Slowly but surely, the big beat of castle is coming right along. Oh, I'm a pleased one. But ladies and gentlemen, that's going to have to do it for today's episode. We got a lot of stuff done. We got so much done on the castle. Look at this landscape. You can't believe it. That's probably going to stay dirt forever and unloaded. But this landscape looks so good. The castle looks great. I'm so happy with it. We got a win for Hep. We're on the board, baby. That's so exciting. And we got a game set up for Scar. That's going to be so fun. More games coming. Keep an eye on all the other hermits to see how these mini games pan out because it's going to be very interesting. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. I love you to death and we'll see you. Load in, please. I'm doing an outro in the next episode. Not loaded. There we go.